Hey, it's Walter here from FX Jake at the Daily Trader. I want to ask you a question. Why do you want to trade? In other words, why do you want to be a pro trader? Is it because you think that trading is cool? Is it because of the lifestyle? Is it because you want to make big money? Why? This is important to know because your motivations determine your behaviors. And if you want to trade simply because you want freedom, then know that it's just a means to an end. Right? That's all it is. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to love finance or be an economist to, to, you know, to, to make money. In fact, most economists will talk about why you can't make money trading, <laughs> which I always find sort of funny. You don't see a lot of hedge fund economists. <laughs> a lot of economists aren't out there running hedge funds <laughs> at all. They're just talking about how hedge funds can't make money, which totally different story, and I don't want to get sidetracked here. But basically, your motivations are going to determine your behavior. So if you believe that you want to have freedom and get away from your cubicle, away from your work, away from an office, or some blowhard boss, then what you're trying to do is make money to buy freedom for yourself. Now, it's easy to actually get sucked in to a time trap as a trader. A lot of traders spend a lot of time in front of the screen. And that screen time can actually... So it, it's sort of like you move away from your job, right? You quit your job. You start trading live professionally. You're doing really well. But guess what? You've just traded in your time at your cubicle at work for time in front of your screen at home, right? Your home office or whatever. So it's not really a great trade-off. So it's important to me that you identify what you want to do as a trader. So if trading equals freedom, then why not make sure that you trade a time frame that allows you freedom? Or, better yet, trade a system that allows you freedom, right? You need to have something that allows you to be free and not a slave to the screen. Now, there are other reasons to trade other than to be free. Now, most traders I know, that's why they want to trade. They want to be free. But what about other things? What are other motivations? Maybe you just want to make a lot of money. Well, is trading really the most efficient way to make money? Is it? Do you know other ways that are better to make money? You might actually know some better ways to make money. You may be better at other things to make money. So if it's not that you love the trading activity, but rather you just want to make money, maybe you can think about other ways to make money. Maybe instead of trading your own account, maybe you need to, to trade for a, uh, a fund of a pooled funds. Or maybe you want to start working as a, um, essentially as a fund manager or as a, a private trader who takes on additional clients. Maybe that's what you want to do because you want to make more money. So you can leverage other people's money and, and make a percentage of that. So it may not be the freedom, it may not be the money, but those are the two big ones for a lot of traders out there. What if you actually just love the excitement of watching your money fluctuate and go up and down? Well. I would caution you, if you find yourself in this camp, maybe you actually don't want to be a trader. Maybe you are looking for something else. Maybe that something else is gambling, right? If you want to gamble, that's okay if that's what you want to do. But make sure that you use your gambling budget and that you don't go full bore and, and treat it as, as a, a profession. You can certainly become a, a professional gambler, but it takes a long time. A lot of people look at trading as gambling, and they'll say, "Well, that's gambling." I don't. I don't agree because most games of chance and gambling games are actually set up so that you will lose over the long run. Now, of course, you have things like counting cards and blackjack and poker and things like that where it's different, but most of the other games like roulette or uh, even craps or obviously 
um, slot machines, pokey machines, those sorts of things. Those are all set up so that you will lose over the long haul. Whereas trading systems that have been verified and that you know work over the long haul, they are going to make money. So it's completely different. So know your motivations. Know why you want to become a trader. And use those motivations in your everyday life. So if you know you want to trade because you want to become free and have more time, then use trading systems that allow you more time and more freedom. Probably going to mean set and forget type systems where you put in your profit target, you put in your um, your stop loss and your entry price and you walk away. Or it may mean trading the weekly charts. So you don't have to check the ch charts that often. There are lots of ways that you can trade and be free and have a lot of free time. You don't have to trade the five minute charts and sit in front of the screen for five hours a day. You don't have to do that. No one said that because you're a trader you have to sit there and trade every single day. That's not true. Um, but you know we've been drilled, especially in places like the U.S., traders have, have this idea that you have to do something. There's a real work ethic in places like the U.S. Now in other countries, maybe not so much. So apologies to those of you in France. <laughs> just, just kidding. Uh, not really. But so the the point is is that know you, what your motivations are. If your motivations are to make money, then start thinking about how you can make more money by trading. How can you get your hands on more funds? How can you apply to become a uh, trader for a fund or something like that? That's what you need to do if that's what your goal is. So really think about what your goal is. And finally, if it's just for the excitement, maybe trading's not for you. Maybe you really need to move into something where it truly is exciting and, and it's more you're being more honest with yourself where you're you're really looking to gamble. And the good thing about that is that hopefully you'll have a gambling budget, money that you have, can afford to lose because you know you probably will lose it, and that you can use that as your excitement money rather than your trading money and, and convincing yourself that you're gonna make a you know a living out of trading when, when in fact you're just gambling. So hopefully this helps. I wish you a very happy trading week, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.